Simplify the complex fraction. So what does that mean? That basically means we have to get rid of all these little miniature fractions in the numerator and in the denominator. We can't have like fractions over fractions. So to do this, I think the best way is going to be, or one way, is to multiply by one in a clever way. You see, if we multiply the numerator by y squared, when we distribute this, it's gonna kill all of the y's. So we can do the same thing on the bottom. We're basically multiplying by one in a really clever way. y squared over y squared is equal to one. So you're allowed to do that, right? You're allowed to multiply by one. All right, keep in mind that the numerator is in parentheses and so is the denominator. So now we just have to um, carefully distribute. So let's see, y squared times two over y squared. The y squared on the bottom will cancel. So we're just left with two and then plus and then y squared times one over y. Well, we're gonna lose one of the y's because one of them will cancel, so we're left with y. Over, on the bottom it'll be y squared times four over y squared. So the y squareds will cancel, so we're left with four. And then minus y squared times negative one over y. So one of the y's will cancel, so we're left with y. And that'll be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.